typically if I draw a line through the middle of the target here and middle here, if all my rounds favor low and left, that's classic um, indicator that I'm pulling the trigger too hard. It's something we'll work on because he's going to go over trigger discipline and everything and what it means. But the last thing I want to do is point a weapon and yank the trigger because when I yank it, it tends to yank the weapon subtly down into the left. I'm a right-handed shooter, down to the right if I'm a left-handed shooter. So if I see a low and left like this, I watched you pull this one and I watched you like hammer it hard. Likewise, when you were shooting from way back there, the, that's the problem. From up here, where this was like when you're on a three, it doesn't affect your shot group so much. We go back to the seven. Look back there, look where the seven is. That's not yeah. that far away. Yeah. That's like distances for still what in, in the realm of close. Like that's from one side of your bedroom to the other. And when the trigger pull, instead of hitting here, now you're hitting here. That's the same trigger pull with the difference in distance because that's that's how much effect your trigger pull has on. It's the number one thing that affects your shot group with pistol fire. Rifle, it's not as much because you have so much more of your surface area in contact with the rifle, so it doesn't pull off as much. It's much more subtle. But with the pistol, because it's out there in space, any kind of error or any artifact that I introduce into the into the into where the weapon is pointed at the last second will drive the round down and off. The good news is this is outstanding for a first shot group. <laughs>